it's Nikki and I'm back again today. Today is going to be more of a, um, of a vlog, not so much of a review. Um, so yeah. There's a couple of things that I wanted to talk about today which is why this is going to be kind of a vlog and I'm not promising but I don't think it's going to be very long. I know I missed last week. Um, I don't know, it's just been crazy. Like always, um, I'm doing my best. <laughs> it's just been insane. I've been working a lot. Um, so anyways, um, first off the bat, I finally got the review up for this. Um, I know um, it's up there. People have watched it. Um, and when I did that review, what was that maybe two and a half, three weeks ago? This thing was working like a champ, and I said... You know, hey, it's tried and true. It's been my go-to. I love it. Um, I stickered it up afterwards um, because I was tired of looking at it peeling. Um, so I've got a bunch of stickers and crap on it. However, um, I did find out um, through one of my other viewers. Also, um, I emailed Lotus. This button in here is not moss fat protected. Um, so when I found that out, I was like, ah. Oh, Okay, the other shoe is going to drop, you know, it's the button's going to go out on me, just when is it going to go out on me? Because I build low, I've been using it a lot. Um, the coil that's in this, which we will talk about, it is the Mad Hatter, um, it's sitting at like 0.2 ohms right now. Um, and not even like three days later, it started acting up on me after I put that review up. This is why I have things and I use things for months before I review them. Because had I reviewed this right off the bat, like two days after I got it, it would have been fine. I would have, you know, gushed about it, said, oh, it's so great, it's so great. And the peeling would have started and now the button's going out on me. So um, I don't know how much longer I'll be able to use this because it's been a little weird lately. Not sure what's going on with it. But at the moment, it's vaping, and it's vaping great. Um, but I also had, from the same the same viewer who told me that the button wasn't MOSFET protected, he told me, I think it's a he, I'm sorry if it's not, I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a guy. Um, he told me, like, he messaged two days later after that, that his actually vented. His VOD vented. I don't know the specifics. I don't know if it was the batteries. I don't know if it had something to do with the, the Lotus mod, the LE80. I do know that there's some protection in these um, as far as like overheating and reversal protection and stuff. So I don't know, like I said, I don't know the details, but uh, he said, I think his exact quote was, it exploded. Um, but that more or less has to do with batteries. I'm, I'm wondering if maybe the battery was bad or, or something happened. So um, it just goes to, you know, that step further. If you're going to be vaping like this, we got to be safe about it. Check your batteries when you put them in every time. Make sure that it's not peeling. Make sure that the, the button isn't dented. You know, if the battery looks like it's beat up, don't put it in. You know, rewrap it or, you know, just we have to be safe about this, guys. I mean, we're literally playing with explosives here. So if you're going to be vaping, please vape safe. Um, I've got the sticker on here about Ohm's Law. It says it's not Ohm's suggestion, it's Ohm's Law. Vape safe. Um, I got it at, I think it was at Vape Bash that I got this sticker. I thought it was kind of, kind of cool. Um, so that's just one thing. Um, if you don't want to hear me rambling, you can stop the video now because this is, like I said, it's going to be a vlog type video. Um, I got a couple of things else to talk about. Um, some honorable mentions of juice. Um, I ended up finding this really great vape shop that's by my work. Uh, one of my co-workers actually told me about it and uh, stopped in there a couple of times. The guys are really great there. Um, and I've really been liking it. I got the Mad Hatter from them um, and some juice. And right now I'm vaping this stuff. And it's a uh, vanilla bean gelato and it's actually really good. And it's super cheap. It'll get a review. Um, just not today. Maybe Wednesday I'll do a review. I want to um, 
I want to look into the company a little bit and make sure that you guys, if you want to, can order it online um, because I don't know who else carries it. I had never heard of this line until um, I stopped into the shop and I was so indecisive about what juice I wanted. And uh, he's like, oh, hey, try this. It's cheap. It's good. Blah, blah, blah. So, um, and I've really been enjoying it. Um, so, yeah, um, the Mad Hatter I just recently got uh, two days ago. And I couldn't decide between getting the Mad Hatter or, it was the Freak Show. Um, they've got the same airflow design, which is really nice. It comes in from the bottom down here, and it hits right underneath the coil. It comes up underneath the coil on the deck. And uh, I was like, you know, I'm just going to go with the Mad Hatter because it's the same airflow design. It's just got the, it's attached, which is great. I love it. It makes it makes it so much easier. And you don't have to realign your air holes every time you drip. Um, it's been great. He just threw a standard build in there for me because um, I bought it and had to go to work. I was like, hey, can you just throw a simple build in there for me so I can vape it? So, And it's been great. I haven't had any issues with it. This is the first time I've put it on the LE80. I've been rocking it on my Sigeli 100 watt. Um, I actually brought that back out and started using it when this started having issues. Um, and it's been great. Um, although building that low even with dual 18650 batteries, it seems like my batteries drain so much faster in the, um, in the Sigeli than they do on this. So we'll see what happens. I don't know safety reasons, I don't think I'm going to be using this much longer. But I, I'm going to use it now. Actually, I'm probably just going to take this off. I just get so nervous, you know, after hearing that one of my viewers had their batteries vent in it, and there really is no vent holes in this. Um, I don't know, God forbid, if it did vent it, if the batteries did vent, where they'd vent from. Um, I didn't mention that in my in my review, but there's really no place for it to vent, um, which leads me to think that his really did explode because at least with the hundred watt, the glare would stop. There's venting holes down here. You know, I I don't know where it would vent if it vented, um, especially because this door is so tight on here. It makes such a good seal. So, you know, if, if you bought one, just be careful. You know, um, I would hate, I would hate for somebody to get hurt because of it. Um, so, but some honorable mentions of juice. Um, I did pick up, I did the review for the RV, the Republica Vapes liquid. Um, their creme and their plush milk, I did the review on those. Um, the shop by my work, um, they carry that line, and I got loop de loop, which was really good. Um, it's like Fruit Loops. It tastes very similar to um, Looper um, from the Animal line, but it's a little bit more of a lemony lime. Uh, you get the lemony lime a lot stronger in loop de loop than in Looper. Um, but it's still really good. I mean, I, I went through all of this in like two days. <laughs> so um, right now I'm vaping this stuff and it's really nice. I think it was like 10 bucks for 30 mils. So those are a really good price and it's really good juice. Um, like I said, I want to do a little bit more. Um, I got to find out a little bit more because I think he said something about another company makes this juice too. It's like a sistering company that makes this and they make another well-known juice brand but I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. I started recording this video with like zero prepared. I kind of just hit record and I'm winging it so bear with me. <laughs> it's just been hectic and crazy. Um, but other than that, that's really... Oh, and then there was another one I, did. oh, I didn't keep the bottle. Um, it was another really good vanilla, vanilla custard one. Um, and I can't think of who makes it now. Oh, I'm an idiot. I don't know where the bottle went. Oh, well, I'll throw it in another video if I find the bottle. Um, that's what happens when I'm not prepared. <laughs> um, but anyways, 
Let's see, what else is coming up? Um, I am, I know a couple videos ago I said about the basket of juice, but I've been adding more stuff to it. So after this video, um, I will post the contest on my Facebook page. Um, so when you're done watching this, head over there. You can find the link. It's on my YouTube page up in the corner. Um, head over there because I'm going to run a contest for the basket of juice. Um, there's a bunch of juice in here. I mean, the, a ton. There's a ton of juice in here. So somebody's going to get it. Um, I'm going to run that contest. It's probably going to go for, I don't know, two weeks. Maybe, um, and I'll, uh, the information as to how how I'm going to do it will be up there. But basically, you got to be a subscriber to my channel, um, liking the Facebook page as well. I'm constantly posting stuff on Facebook. Um, and the Facebook page is where I post a lot of, like, the advocacy stuff, <clears throat> which is really important because we're, shit's getting crazy. Um, and we need to be fighting for our right to vape because they're, if we don't, they're going to take it away from us. And I would hate for that to happen. Um, you know, it's just... Anyways, before I get on a tangent about that. Um, so, um, anyways, I am going to be giving away this Atlantis tank. Um, I got it. I used it for a little bit, like literally two days. Um, I did the Battle of the Sub Tanks, and I just really don't care for the Atlantis. Um, and it's just sitting there, and I would prefer if it went to somebody who needs it or wants it and is going to use it. Um, so that'll be another contest that'll be coming. Oh, I found the bottle. Here we go. So, that juice that I couldn't think of, it's a uh, Vanilla Custard by Seduce Juice. Um, this was the other one that I got from uh, the vape shop that I work. Um, this was the first juice I bought from them, and it was really good. Really good. Um, I will post links to the description for this. Um, it was delicious. Um, it was a good change of pace because it was just vanilla and custard. Um, it was really good. I looked over and it was sitting there. Um, it was a great juice. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I went through it pretty quick, too. Um, but other than that, um, I did get those two Aeolus mods in, or RDAs in. So, I'm currently, I'm going to bust that out and build it and use it for a while and it'll get its review. I know there's still a ton of other stuff that needs a review. Um, my... My queue is just insane. I've got a whole Word document, um, and it's split between devices and juices. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to like, catch up here um, and get my camera back working. Um, I use a different camera for my close-ups, which is why there hasn't been a whole lot of um, device reviews. And like with the LE80 um, review, watching it back, like it just makes my skin crawl. Because the quality of the up-close is horrible, and I apologize for that. The camera that I use is on the older side. I need to upgrade, um, but with moving and everything, I just haven't been able to yet. So I'm hoping by the end of this month I'll have a new camera. Um, it, uh, I just hope so. That's I'm working on it, guys. I apologize, because there is a ton of devices that need to be reviewed. Um, I know I still have to do... The Derringer, which I know is a little late. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to be doing that one or not. You guys will have to let me know if you even want to see the Derringer um, review. Because um, if you guys don't want to watch it, then I'm not, I won't do it. Um, but I've got the Tugboat V2. I've got, um, I've got, there's a ton of stuff up here that needs to be reviewed. Um, the Mad Hatter. We'll get a review eventually, probably next month. It impresses me. Like, um, this, the airflow on this, like, is great. Um, it really does focus the airflow right on that coil, um, which is great. It just, it gives you really great clouds. Um, and it's effortless, too. Um, it just, it vapes great. 
I did, however, I found out, um, because this whole piece, obviously, it's the Mad Hatter, um, so this whole piece is one, the drip tip and everything is one piece, and when I bought it, though, um, he showed me that, where's my drip tip? There it is. A standard 510 drip tip fits on top. So I guess if you wanted to rock this ridiculously tall, you know, thing, you could. Um, but I don't because because this piece is so thick and it's got the heat sink fins on it, it does not get hot. I mean, it'll get a little warm like a regular drip tip does, but I'm rocking this at 68 watts, 3.6 volts, and it does not, it's not hot at all. The vape is warm for sure at 68 watts um but the the drip tip the top part does not get hot at all I, I was really impressed with that um it's it's been phenomenal um the deck is pretty straightforward um you're probably not going to see that it's through post design that center um post the positive post i believe is copper um, that'll all be in the review. I've got to, I want to verify all of that before I start spewing out false information. But I'm almost positive it's a copper, um, uh, positive post. And it goes all the way down to the bottom. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it's copper. I don't, it might be brass, but I'm pretty sure it's copper. It looks like copper to me. Um, which is really nice. It's just been great, and the the Mad Hatter design on it is pretty pretty badass. I don't know if you'll be able to see that because of the glare, um, but he's pretty cool looking. I have a thing about the designs on it. Like I really like the little boy with the gas mask. He's pretty cool looking too. I think that's really all that I have. Um, I I'm pretty sure that's all I have. I did find out that one of my other favorite vape shops that I haven't been to in a while because it's so far from my new house. It's about an hour drive from my new house where I live. Um, they, one of my awesome viewers who I actually met there um, at, at Tobacco Time, the vape shop that I go to, or that I was going to, I was just told that he got broken into um, and he lost a lot of money. So that was heartbreaking. Um, and I went to stop in there yesterday um, but I think because of it, he changed his hours, and by the time I was able to get there after work, it was closed. Um, so I really hope, you know, that all works out. And, you know, shame on whoever it was that broke into that store. I mean, come on. This <laughs> shit's going to hell in a handbasket, and, and it's just, it makes me sad. Um, but, you know, hopefully, the guy, you know, the guy who runs the shop, he's a great guy. And, you know, he'll rebuild. And I hope it's soon. I mean, he's got a lot of loyal customers that, you know, are, are supporting him. And I think he'll be able to recover. I hope so because he carries my favorite juice. Um, and if he stops carrying it, I'm going to have to start trying to find it online. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Um, but anyways, you know, just be kind to one another, guys. I think that's all I got for you today. I know I said at the beginning that it wasn't going to be long. Um, I will give you guys more details as to when I'm going to do the Atlantis giveaway. Um, but head over to the Facebook page for the Basket of Juice. Um, that's going to run. I'm thinking I'm going to do it two weeks. Um, it seems to be a good time period. Two weeks. And uh, we'll pick a winner. All of the details for that will be posted onto the Facebook page. And as always, guys, any questions, comments, something you want to see um, reviewed, shoot me an email. Um, I always love, you know, hearing from my viewers. Um, you know, I got a message the other day from one of my viewers, and it was awesome. Um, I will talk vape with anybody and everybody I can. Um, you know, when I started working um, a couple months ago, I, I vape. I vape. I would go out, you know, hey, can I take a smoke break? Well, I was going out and vaping. And uh, there was another, um, one of my coworkers, she started asking me about it, and she's she was not, um, she was not a heavy smoker or anything like that, but she picked up her first little pen vape, and I was, I was excited. 
Um, and then I found out one of my other co-workers vapes and I had no idea and he's the one that showed me the vape shop and you know so there the little community that we have it's growing and it's getting bigger and it just makes me excited and that's why I started this channel you know I've said it a couple of times but even if I can just help a handful of people I will be happy because that's the kind of person I am you know I feel like crap today I look like crap today but I was looking at my feed and I was like, I haven't posted anything in about two weeks. I really need to get back on and do it. So, sorry this is a rambling video. I hope you all stayed to listen to me ramble. Um, and I guess that's it. Until next time, guys. Bye, bye.